Hi guys and welcome back to another episode on Serene Craft. Today is episode 9. Yes, episode 9 and I am going to be working at the base once again. Now, I was going to work somewhere else and do a different project, but I'm kind of getting tired of all of these shulk boxes and chests everywhere. So today I'm going to be working on my storage room, which is going to be this thing here, my little chest. So I've been lining it up from kind of this section here to uh, make sure it's in the right spot. Um, and let's just close that and we can go out here and see um, what I've been doing out here. So I've actually built the frame part so uh, I knew where it was supposed to be. Um, I've been doing some of this cobblestone off camera because obviously we worked on that in the last episode. Now this section here you can see these three blocks are going to be all filled in with different blocks so that is why I've only built the two sides and obviously here's going to be a block so I've only actually built the bits you're going to be able to see um, on them but yeah we've got the frame done here for the chest and I it, it, it looks a little bit strange like it's too far away from all the different blocks but you know I've counted it again and again and it is in the right squares in the right place compared to what it is in the house down there so um we're gonna get this built now so as you can see um all the way around it is actually one block smaller than all the other one all the other blocks we've built so far so when it is done um it's gonna have like this small walkway all the way around but i think the first thing i need to do is to work on the floor because we've got this little area where the villagers are and i need to um use that design and make the whole floor nice and even okay so uh ran out of a few things first and i thought i'll just fly over here to the iron farm and grab a bit more iron uh before i carry on because i need some more wool and i have no shears and this is actually nearly full um you can see i've been working and a few of the others have been working on making iron blocks and it does take quite a while to do even with the recipe book but we're getting there we are slowly filling up this side of the farm there's actually oops some ingots in there as well take my helmet back on so uh, i think i'll spend a little bit of time here as well before i go back i was just going to grab some iron and go but i think because this is nearly full i will shove all this in here and actually um make up some blocks as well so i'm going to spend this will probably take me about an hour because it usually does take quite a while to do so uh, i'm going to get this done and emptied first and then we can get back uh, and finish that chest so we need to get started on this now i thought the first thing i'll do is just get the floor sorted because we've got this area here which is the roof for the where the villagers are so i thought i'll just use this um to do the floor in in the storage room rather than trying to think of a new design and having to possibly having to move all the villagers down again um i thought i'll just stick with this here and it's all oh, this is two polished andesites and then a stone brick so it's nice and easy to do um no nope, wrong one two of them um, and then it's a nice gives me a nice clean floor to the storage room uh, some of this will probably have to be dug out if I build a storage system I'm still not sure whether I'm going to do um, a proper storage system or just kind of manual thing um, just fix that uh, and just you know organize my chest myself and put them in by hand i probably will build a storage system possibly um i might try and edit the the same storage system i had on the last server which is tango's um storage system i might kind of use that and try and change it a little bit to make sure that it doesn't get blocked up all the time with the uh, loading and unloading chunks um I think the problem with that was it took so long to get through the whole system so i could build that and just 
build all the modules separate and just have uh, an input chest for each, you know, and have one, um, like one module for all stone kind of things and one module for wood and everything else, have it all separated. That could be an idea. Then it, it only takes a couple of minutes to get through each section. Um, and it still makes it a little bit easier than manually organizing everything. So this is now finished. So we need to get the actual chest. So we finally got the outside of the chest on and it looks a lot better. I did collect a lot of um, jungle wood because when I was testing things out that actually fit in with it really well. But when I started building it, it didn't look right. So I replaced it with the sandstone, which is a bit more yellowy um, and it actually works much better. And the thing about this house is the further away you go, the better it looks. So, you know, from a distance, it actually looks a lot better. Um, but it turned out a lot better than I thought it was anyway. Uh, I've actually hmm, made a mistake there. Uh, they were supposed to be this colour, so I'll jump up and change that in a minute. The inside uh, needs to light it up a bit. Let's just put some torches down for now. Um, I need to make some lights in here. I'm going to do some lights hanging from the ceiling, kind of chandelier things. Um, but now we need chests and to start moving things over. So when I do that storage system, I'm probably going to put um, a module here and a module on that side. Um, because it sticks out quite far. So I might kind of do some things as a storage system and then some things not. So things like... Um, stone and netherrack and all that I have loads of I might dig down somewhere that's out of the way of the villagers over here and just have chests uh, down into a bulk storage room um, and then all the smaller things and loose stuff in storage systems here but we'll have to see how that goes later so for now I'm just going to place lots of chests here and then we can get things moved over and, you know, slightly more organised than they are at the minute. Uh, I do need some trap chests as well. Um, and then I might be able to move some of my stuff from my spawn house over here as well. Because I'm uh, kind of back and two at the minute. Getting things from both areas. So, 
I'm going to get this done and then get all my shulker boxes filled up with stuff and we can get this uh, organised a bit better. So I've got all my stuff in here organised now and well it's enough for now until I get a storage system done. But I've been looking at this and although I really like it, uh, I've had a few comments already, yes it is very yellow. Um, but if you actually look at a chest, these colours I don't actually you don't actually have on Minecraft. You know, the the browns are too dark, the yellows are too light, and orange is well too orange. Um but the only bit I really don't like is the one where I've got the sandstone, which is supposed to be these if I can get to it like these ones here the lightest colour on it so like this L shape but I might just change that out um, and swap it over for maybe the dark the terracotta one yeah I might do that if I've got enough left so I've got quite a lot of yellow terracotta so I think I'm going to change that out and s uh, maybe just change the front wall out first and see how it looks and then I can do the rest if it looks a little bit better. So I changed this over now. Uh, I did actually do the whole thing after I did the front because it does look better um, with the darker colour on. So that is finished now. Let's go inside so we can see it. There we go. Put sort of a few lights at the top because it was quite dark there. So just a few torches on. So that is done. We've got the storage done. Now these bottom ones here I've dug down. Um, because these are the things I always have way too many of. So I can um, store a lot more. So all these things um, I think I've only actually done up to that one. So all these things usually I, I fill up. So when these bottom chests get completely full I can always just dig down underneath them and add some bulk storage into them and I've got a couple of extra chests there. So I'll probably leave these bottom ones on when I make the big storage system um, and then all these extra things um, I will put into the storage system. So there is another thing I've been working on just a little off-camera project um, because I don't really want to be spending all my time off-camera building a base uh, I need to kind of save some of that for recording um, and that is over in this direction now I built the ink farm uh, and put some guardians in and I was actually waiting for someone to build a guardian farm which no one's done yet so I thought I would get started on my own little one so I'm not going to be turning this into a massive project um, I'm not going to be decorating it and doing all that stuff this is purely just for guardian farm I mean I might do it eventually um, you know if I get round to needing things to to do um, but I just want to clear all this out and um, build a guardian farm because I was doing it just for sea lanterns. Um, I was emptying the inside out. So if I can get down here, I've got a hole somewhere. As you can see, I emptied the inside out already and I was destroying all this to keep the sea lanterns and the prismarine and uh, things to use. Which, you know, it's, it's got me quite a few, but not really too many. So um, I'm going to build a guardian farm now. I'm probably going to leave the monument here when the water's gone. And then this section on the top, I'm going to clear out and have um, the actual guardian farm up in that section there. So uh, that is what I've been doing now, getting this uh, sorted. So the last thing I want to do in here now is a light oops um i've got a couple of torches to light the room up but i wanted kind of a chandelier thing in here and because it's an even number we've got two blocks so we'll have to make it a two block wide at the top uh we just need to figure out the center three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six of these two blocks. Okay, so this is the center here. Uh, and it's a little bit awkward because I have to move the string. So uh, I don't know what the best way to do this. I might have to just uh, break it and let the um, what's it called? The concrete powder drop. Don't think I can do it. No, I can't do it fast enough to uh, just place it. So I'll have to re replace them. Let's just get rid of them and oops. Oops, I do need the actual block so I can place again. Uh, let's just pillar up on the outside and place that. Be the easiest thing to do. missed one somewhere. Okay, so place it there. I'll fix that last one in a minute. Okay, so chandelier. If we go out. I need some more netherrack. Now I'm just gonna use uh, the white glass panes and the what they called N rods to do this because I think they look quite nice together making a kind of chandelier. I don't want anything too crazy, so I'm gonna just go out like this, then drop this down to about this height, and then make the wide bit further down. So if we just bring that down to like that, and then we can build here like this so we go out like that and then we just extend this out and have the end rods hanging down from each of the corners so let's get this done so there we go nice chandelier done that lights that area up nicely I do prefer the look of them when they drop down to a single uh, N rod but with the dimensions of these blocks it's not going to happen so it looks quite nice anyway. Uh, I took the extra bit off the top because it looked a little bit odd um, and that is done and sorted now. I do need a different entrance um, I need a, a piston door or something in there so it's not got a hole in all the time but I will get around to doing that. I need to gather some redstone resources because I have pretty much nothing um, but that is the storage room done well mostly done at the minute obviously I've got to do the system but I will do that at another point um, but that is uh, this little build done all for today so the next thing I need to do in here is these extra blocks in here so I think in the next episode I'm gonna work a bit more on uh, the walls and I'm going to do these blocks which is mossy cobblestone as well as these uh, corner blocks which is um, uh, what's it called stone bricks so I'm going to do both uh, a bit of uh, each of them in the next episode and then we can get this whole bottom layer finished because then when they are all done that is this first layer um, finished and we can move on to the next one so um, obviously we've got flowers and stuff to do as well because these are going to be built um, you know not just the actual blocks but all the plants are going to be added in as well but these are going to be a little bit more difficult obviously because they when you you look down on them they're completely flat they don't take up a whole block space so I'll have to have a play around in creative mode and see how I'm going to do that um, but then the next level we need to work on is again more cobblestone and mossy cobblestone um, and then we go to a little bit uh, more 
you know, different things. So we've got uh, item frames, the uh, side torches, uh, steps. Now, the only thing I think is going to be a problem with this, because when we put the slab inside the item frame, it keeps the same amount of pixels as it would if you put it normally. It just shrinks it. So we can't actually build that to size. So it actually takes all four, five, six, seven, eight pixels. Them on 32, so it'll take up four pixels. That so I'll probably have to do that a little bit different um, than how it looks, um, or change the way I've got it. So I've got another one up here as well. Um, but then we've also got the same when we put in things in the item frames there, so I might take that out as well uh, and put something a little bit different up there. But we'll see how it goes when we build it. But that is all I've got time for today, guys. So let's go and sleep first. It's so much better when it's daytime. Uh, so that's all I've got time for today, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you did like the video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel for more episode on Zarinecraft. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.